everyone. Welcome back to Screen to Screen. I'm Andrew and this is Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, today we're doing a request from Magic Raisin who wants us to uh, see if we can figure out what this uh, this new Mario movie is going to be about. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So they they announced that uh, Nintendo is sort of pairing up with uh, Illumination, I believe. Like, everyone's like, oh, no, the Minion people are making it. It's going to be terrible. And it's like, guys, uh, the Minion people are animating it. R it's right, not right, like right, right. those people are the writers and yeah, the directors like, here. They're good animators. Shigeru Miyamoto is... Directly involved. Yeah, he's like pro the producer. Yeah. Of it. So, um... I'm not sure if you're familiar with his his opinions on story. Uh, Miyamoto has been on record before. It's just like, I don't like story in my games. Like, I just want Mario to be a guy who hits stuff. I can respect that opinion in games. I'm not saying that, like, games shouldn't have story, but I can understand someone saying, I just want the game. Because like, in a game, it's not it's not story first. Yeah, it's it, more it like should be gameplay first, gameplay especially first. with with a Mario game, but the thing is, making a movie, like, story first, right. is, is very much important. If they're going to draw from the games, mm -hmm. which game are they going to draw from, because... Hmm, yeah. It's the first movie, so my thoughts are, why don't we start with the first game, and then start adding elements in that we like from, from the, mm. from like, newer games. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it, and, and, and I guess this, this really brings up the important s act one. Are we doing, um, like this, the original Super Mario Brothers movie, it, are they plumbers that get, like, brought into the Mushroom Kingdom? I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Yoshi's Island. Uh, oh, oh, right, right, Yoshi's Island, yeah, Yoshi's Island yeah. features a baby Mario, where he's always been a part of the world, it kind of, uh... Yeah, it makes things less weird it also makes it a lot less messy from like a storytelling perspective yeah like if we start in the real world and he's like lost in this world it sort of artificially creates an arc of can he get back home right right and that's not really what any of the games are no. ever about maybe maybe uh like the first bit of act one is a little bit of a origin sort of uh you know it's the yoshi's island uh, like it, it's not like the full yoshi's island yeah we could save that for a prequel movie yeah yeah but like we get like a little taste of that um and then uh he kind of grows up and then of course there's luigi like you cannot forget about him oh no i would never forget about uh, luigi. he's he's gotta be unlike the actual <laughs> nintendo company who forgets yeah. about people want luigi yeah gotta have that weege all right, let, th I think I have to, we have to establish this first before we even decide what Act 1 is. Is this the story of Mario becoming Super Mario? Is it the story of him meeting Bowser the first time? You know, what is the story? Oh, that's really tough because there's so many things I would like to do. Well, let's let's think about it, you know? All right. I like the idea of we're, we're well established. Bowser, Mario, Princess Peach, their relationship has been going on for a while. Okay. Because... You can either make a, a relatively straightforward Mario movie where Bowser Prince uh, kidnaps a princess, Mario mm. has to go save the princess. Sure, sure. It's the story we've heard a million times. Right, right. Or we could pick up, like, Mario's just beaten Bowser. Like, okay. The first scenes of this movie are Mario winning, yeah. defeating okay, Bowser. Okay, sure, sure. This is a normal day in his life. Yeah, it's know. just like another Tuesday for Mario. Yeah, yeah. And at that point, we could introduce a whole new villain that's just here to mess up the status quo. Mm, you know, I I think I think you may have lost me there. And, yeah, yeah. And, and I, it's not that I think it's a bad story choice. I think it's a it's a real cool idea. But for the first but movie, the first movie, I think I people want to see the familiarity. I I don't think we should introduce too much new stuff here. Okay, okay. Um, I I think that's a good you know I like again like it's an exciting fresh idea. Yep, yep. But I think it's gonna disappoint a lot of people if we don't. Stay at least at the first movie, mainly, you know how like every Mario game, the first level is like the grasslands. You yeah, can't, you can't come one. out of the gate with like a snow level. You know what I mean? Like the first Mario movie, I feel like I feel like it's got to be like a little bit vanilla. Like it, you know, we can we can make it fun. There's a lot we could do with it, but I don't think people have like an idea of what they want to see, and I don't think we should cheat them out of that that's fair all right, and here's another thing we could do like we could all right so we could start with him saving peach like that's like the first scene yeah but i think f in terms of like fun character interactions like peach should like be part of like the crew like, yeah that's like, why i want to not have her be kidnapped yeah. by bowser like i want I, I something do like new the homage at the beginning though because like that's what he does every yeah. single day he's saving peach and I think we should, We I, I feel like it would be like cheating the audience again, like to not have her get kidnapped 
and I think putting it way at the beginning, I think that lets the, the fans way, get the thing yeah, they want. They get they get what they want, you know. That because it's sort of like it would be conspicuous if we didn't do that. Exactly. But uh, it doesn't necessarily lend itself to great character story stuff. So I think it's a good um, idea to sort of you know get that out of the way. Let, let me let me hit you with with this idea. All right, hit me. Um, instead of us like c trying to like, sort of artificially construct a cool gimmick, uh, why don't we focus on what makes Mario Mario, and figure out what his character arc is going to be, there and then and then make a gimmick that that serves that character arc. And that's kind of what they do in the games. There like we go. the whole Cappy thing is like, what's an element of Mario? He has a hat. What can we do with a hat? Do yeah, yeah, hats? yeah. So, this is where it gets tough, because I feel like Mario has no no character. Like, he's he really a he's, blank canvas. He is very a blank canvas. Like, what's his flaw? He doesn't have one. But he should, though. He should have a personality. And I don't know if... Like, he doesn't seem like he's, like, a cocky guy. You know, it doesn't seem like fame would get to his head. No, he really just seems like he's kind of a simple... But yeah, you know, I do I do my job. Yeah, yeah. Like like it's he, a hard job. He's, he's always saving people. Like I don't know. Luigi's easy. He he's yeah, the, he's, he's the, in the shadow cat. of his brother. He's the scaredy cat. And and his arc could be being brave, you know, at the end, you know, maybe he's maybe he has to meet up with some ghosts or something, but Luigi's arc I think is pretty solid. He's like he's got Luigi has got way more character than Mario does. Yes. Um and I think Luigi should always be reluctant and maybe in that third act he's the one who's got to step up and really, you know... He saves Mario. Or or, or, it, or he, like, if he's not, like, the saving guy, he's at least, like, saves the B-plot. Like, yeah. he, he's there right when Mario needs him. Like, he's... But, you know, some, like, something like that where he's, like, he's 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 overcome his fear. I mean, he's still afraid, but he's, he's, but he's willing... he's still acting. Yeah, he's willing to go forth, so... This this is a this is tricky because like what we did with like Frogger or Pac Man it's it's a blank slate in that like there's not a lot of there's not a lot of stuff to work with there was so nothing established yeah so we got to establish everything whereas Mario was blank but there's established things yeah he's like blank story wise but in terms of references to have to reference there's a lot yes <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you it could make a very old storied franchise you could make a movie very important out of people. every game so the movie opens he defeats Bowser saves Princess Peach sure. and he's just as kind of a joke, like, I'll see you next week, Bowser, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we do this again and again and again. Yeah, that's pretty And fun, yeah. maybe at that point, Bowser goes, no, you know what? I'm done. Like, I, I'm i moving on. I got a new thing. <laughs> okay. And maybe this movie is, what does Mario do in a world where no one needs him? <laughs> Interesting. But but I feel like the obvious answer is that Bowser's playing a trick. He, yeah. He's, that That's... That's but, like, interesting. We could have a fun, like, Mario oh. trying to get into golf, maybe trying to get into the go-kart. Oh, that's such a good idea! Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love that! All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I think, I think, yeah, I think his character is, he's not like a cocky guy, he's, he's not, he, you know, he's not arrogant, but he is used to being the center of attention. Yeah. And when he's not anymore, it, it, it's sort of like he doesn't know what to do. He's completely lost like in this he, world he's where not like he doesn't a, need to be there. Yeah, yeah, like he's not like a jerk, but like when he when the one thing he knows how to do isn't a thing anymore, he's he's sort of he's sort of at a loss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oh oh I like this. And like Luigi's doing better, like do. like like he's got his own ghost business, yeah, ghost like, business. He could be talking to Mario like it's really scary, but I think I'm doing it good. And okay. like that could be a spin off movie like once you said like he's trying out all these different things like he goes to, like to medical school right right there's like, this, so many fun easter this, eggs that you can pile a, in there that's such a fun montage um we have the scene he say he saves princess peach and whatever and he's like a, a hero and all like the mushroom people love him and whatever and then you know you know see you next week and bowser you know he, he's like ah oh, no i've given up you you've you, you know you've really showed me and I think at that point, it should be like a joyous occasion. Mm. You know, Mario feels great, he's finally won, the Mushroom Kingdom is happy, and Bowser's given up, and there's no, there's no one to terrorize the kingdom anymore, and 
then it's sort of like maybe like a, like a toad, like maybe like like Buck and Barry or whatever. <laughs> Buck and Barry. He, he's he's like, uh, oh, what are you what are you gonna do now, Mario? And he's like, oh, you know, I have a lot more time for uh, you know. Uh, I'm going to expand on my horizons. And then he, you know, I see him playing all different sports and stuff. Going to medical school. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe he goes back to plumbing and. You know, maybe, maybe he like misses the old adventure. Maybe, maybe it's about Mario finding an adventure. Yeah, yeah. Like he's trying to find wrongdoing and he's trying to preemptively stop it. Yeah, yeah. And he finds like a different kind of like, you know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if we want to do Wart, you know. A uh, Wart would be such a good one though. Like it's a deep cut because younger people that are into Mario probably didn't play Mario too and don't know who Wart is. So, all right, all right. Oh, there's so much to work with, but I, I want to take us in a, in a in a slight tangent here, and maybe right. it's maybe it's useful. So the thing about Wart, and I, I don't know if this is like you know a fan theory or, or it's something that I've thought of, is that so the shy guys are in Super Mario 2. That's when they're introduced. Yeah. But they're also in Yoshi's Island, aren't yes. they? So um. So, it could be like he's remember, like he finds maybe he finds Yoshi's Island, like, mm. and and it's been taken over by Wart or something. Oh, he remembers his childhood. Yeah, like, I remember this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe something like that. Like I, I don't know. Like I, I don't know if we're getting too far off into like maybe this is a good sequel, but. I don't know. I, I want Bowser. I kind of be... like the idea of this being a good sequel, even though it's the first movie. Because yeah. again, like Mario is so we, ubiquitous. We it's sort of like a Spider-Man: Homecoming. Yes, like, which we already I know is the best Spider-Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, all right. But, oh. but but I still feel like Bowser in the end needs to be the mastermind. Yeah, I do like the idea that Bowser was still behind it because. I think the whole thing with Bowser is even when he is a good guy, he's still trying to yeah. be a bad guy. Like, Act 3 should be, like, the Bowser fight. Like, yeah. he should be big and there should be lava. Like, I feel like we need to get back to that. And maybe, it may be like, Wart in Yoshi's Island is a little bit like Luke in, in Dagobah. I think there should be some sort of danger that Mario's not aware of, and maybe it's, you know, Peach and, and Luigi and, and Toad who have to go and find him. Ah. Or, or maybe he's gone, but Bowser's back and they need him. Yeah. You know, um, but I feel like that might be kind of, if Mario's kind of on his own, because it, it really feels like a, like, oh, no, I have to do this alone kind of, kind of journey. I mean, I think it's going to be a situation where Mario doesn't have anything to do and Princess Peach is being a princess, like actually running a kingdom. It's like, do you, yeah. do you need any help? No. Come on, right. yeah, something must be wrong. I, Those Koopa kids must be up to something, right? What are the Koopa kids doing? I've got I've got an interesting idea for story structure. What if we just straight up like lift Empire Strikes Back? Okay. That's that's the structure for this. Like we have the big Hoth fight at the beginning is the big Bowser fight. Yeah, yeah. And we have like you know Luke going to go do his training. That's um, our montage that, of uh, him doing new things. Well, I figured that that would be, yeah, yeah, maybe like him trying new things, is is maybe part of the training, but it, but also him him going to Yoshi's Island, finding his roots. Uh, you know, maybe that's where I meet Yoshi. Maybe he's not in, you know, the other part. Maybe he's an old friend, like ah, oh, my old friend Yoshi. I remember you. Yeah, like it's all Yoshi. coming back to me. Like like he's like he's getting in touch with his roots. Like what did what did I do before Bowser? You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, and he has to find himself. Like yeah, what defines Mario? That's the great thing. We didn't know what defines Mario. Neither does he. Like lean into the idea that he doesn't really have much of a personality. He he's he's defined by his actions. And once Bowser's gone, yeah, when there's no actions to be made. Yeah, so he's got to find himself. His arc is who who am I? Who is this Mario? Um, and. While he's often is like Dagobah soul searching, you know we have Luigi and, and Peach. Uh, we might even we could even do like a little bit of a romance there because I know Ooh. that's like a fan uh, theory is that it's really those two end up yeah. together. Um, but I don't know. Like I don't know if we want to go that way. Uh, it might it might stray a, a little bit too far from canon, like true canon. So Mario goes away, and maybe like the midpoint twist here, while he's off doing his training, is that Bowser comes back in a big bad way. Yeah, like he's. So, comes back with the Koopa kids. Yeah, yeah. Like he he was he was stalling. He, his whole plan was to get Mario out of the way. Maybe he usurps the throne, mm. and, and like like and, and he doesn't capture Peach because she escapes, and now and now she's got to find Mario. Maybe that's the kind of thing. Yeah, she's another character who who is a who is a little bit uh, 
She needs she needs some some work because we don't really have a lot to go on for her. Yeah, she she bakes cakes and she is a princess. That She's probably got a little more have. personality than Mario does. She definitely does, just but, by uh, virtue of not being Mario. Yeah, but I think um, I, I I don't know, like like my like platonic ideal for a princess I think at this point is it's like Princess Bubblegum <laughs> but I don't feel like she's Princess Bubblegum because Princess Bubblegum has this like dark she's got she's side. dark I don't feel like I think I feel I think Peach is pure like pure kind leader yeah yeah she, she's a, a benevolent leader I feel like you know she's willing to put herself in the line for her people I feel like yeah when the kingdom is threatened she'll yeah. do what's uh, important um we get even a, like a, a bit of a line at some point. It's like you're always kidnapped. It's like if I get kidnapped, Bowser leaves everyone alone. Yeah, she yeah. She does it for the people. Yeah, she does it for the people. Yeah, yeah. So Mario tries to find himself. Uh, you know, Luigi's doing great. He's got his ghost busting business. Uh, but Mario, who like he's not fine. Like all these different jobs he's done, none of them feel right. And he just isn't Mario if he's not doing doing the the game you know he and so he needs to go out and find adventure he needs to go travel the world he needs to find new lands um and so everyone you know bids him a fond farewell you know it was great having you mario but you know, we know you got to do this we'll miss you and he's like oh maybe i'll be back again someday but you know i gotta find myself i need the i need to work on me and uh he goes to all different worlds. I mean, that could be another fun montage. Maybe we shouldn't put so many montages in there, but maybe he's like at a point where he's like, ah, oh, I guess I'm nothing, you know? I, what am I? I don't even know anymore. Uh, I should just go home, you know? And then, I haven't been home for a long time. And then like he sees Yoshi's Island. He's like, there's something very familiar about this place. And he goes and he visits Yoshi's Island and he sees the shy guys like, oh, I, I had dreams about this place, you know? You know, and a fun, another fun little uh, reference there. Yeah. And... You know, he realizes it's his home. Maybe he finds like the old like hut that they lived in, and he sees like his his like little height growth chart. And it can be a fun thing where it's like Mario, Mario with mushroom, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he kind of finds his his home. Like he finds a new home, like among the Yoshi's, and uh, you know, uh, he he's you know maybe he's got abilities that they need or something, you know. Um, and they because become, they have their problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if we want to, if we want to go into the whole, like, I don't, I don't know. All right, here we go. Sure. So the idea here is Mario doesn't know who he is. He just thinks like, you know, oh, I, I need to solve problems. I'm mm -hmm. a problem solver. That's yeah, what I yeah. am. He meets up with the Yoshi's. Uh, we have the Wart problem. He has to mm -hmm. defeat Wart. I think his character growth, his arc, can be learning that it's not about the problems he solves, it's about the people he helps. Like, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily about big problems, it's just yeah, about it's being a, there about for his, his friends and family. But, uh, I, I really feel like the way the way the story has been structured at this point, I feel like warts out. Alright. Uh, because he has to leave because what he's really missing is, is like, helping other. He, start, he thinks he's a problem solver, he thinks he's an adventurer, he's an adrenaline junkie. But he really, what he really likes doing is helping people. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it took uh, Bowser pretending to retire for him to realize that. Mm. I, I guess we can kind of go into the B story. What do uh, Peach and, and Luigi find along the way? I think once they all meet up, they have to go back at the end and they have to sort of infiltrate. I mean, that could be kind of a fun, like... Like, like Peach has got the blueprints to the kingdom because she knows her kingdom. Yeah, she built this place. You know, she, she, yeah, and she like oh. lays out like the blueprints. And it's like, all right, we need you to go here and here. And it's like the moat's been filled with lava, so we need to watch out for that. You know, like he's kind of really redecorated this whole place in his own image, of course. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but she knows like the layout. A rom com and a buddy comedy are pretty much the same thing. Um, and just because, like, Luigi and Peach are, like, two different genders here, I mean, they, it could be a buddy comedy. Yeah, like, I it think could, buddy comedy's fun. Like, it could be, like, the two of them learn to be friends. Like, if two people go on an adventure together, there should be some sort of growth in their relationship. It's true, it's true. So, I'm trying to think of what... what it doesn't have to be that complicated, it just has to be, like, something to kind of, you know, hang, hang our, our story on. I mean, I think it could just be, it's a little bit awkward because 
have they ever spent time together? Like, oh, that's kind of fun. That's oh, I like that. Like, it's always we got to save Princess Peach. They save them, and yeah. then Mario and Peach fly off in a fucking hot air balloon, yeah. leaving Luigi behind. I that's like it's awkward. With Super the... Mario 3D World, ah. I think, ends that way, where it's You're... like we saved her. Oh, bye. I guess I gotta say, y you have this whole process. You've been very good at at least from my perspective, finding the the thing that makes a Mario movie so good. Oh, I think you. <laughs> because, because it's not just about regurgitating what we want to see, it's about playing with these unanswered questions. Exactly, like we're changing mediums. We gotta do something interesting and fun, but we gotta All right. We gotta treat the people that come from the original yeah. source material. I think that's wonderful. Oh, I love that. They go <laughs> out to find Mario, and they think it's gonna be like old times, but without Mario there, there's a weird... Like, and you maybe even, maybe even like, I don't know if Toad's still there, but if he is, like, there's like a little, like, Toad and, <laughs> and, and Peach are fine because, like, he's like her little lackey and everything. You know, they're in a hot air balloon. Maybe that's how their journey starts. And it's, you know, it's very quiet. And they don't know what to say to each other. I think that's very funny. The Toad could be kind of in the background when Luigi's like, so, uh, how, how are you doing? And Toad's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 because like her kingdom was just yeah, like, away. geez, guy, awkward. It's like, oh, it's uh, pretty bad what just happened, huh? <laughs> I, I, I love the idea of Luigi and Peach being awkward together. Because they never spent any time together. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's, it, there's no like, you know, tension of like, will they, won't they, you know, throw that idea out. It's this like awkward, we're, we're, we're three, we're, th you know, three friends who hang out. It's awkward when there's just two of us. Yeah. I think that's beautiful it's it's i i love it um oh man that's so good that's like even better than the a story the end of act two part one for the b story is bowser comes back mm. maybe we've even had a little bit and i think we should do this of a c plot of bowser like maybe his like you know um one one of his kids it's like ah, I, I i don't know i was gonna say i kind of want to like foreshadow his event when he's retiring just yeah like, what do you mean retiring what are you talking about yeah. i want to spend more time with my kids yeah yeah like, look at the camera wink. <laughs> but but I think like you know we have like that C plot of him sort of scheming with with his kids or whatever, and, and, and he's like, uh, oh no, I've got big plans. We're, we've just begun. Now now Mario's <laughs> gone, and then it's him showing up with his like army of Koopas or whatever, taking over the castle, and maybe like one of the like one of the older toads or one one of them like it's like princess you have to escape and they and they open like a latch in the back and she and it's like it's not like the last time you can't get captured we you know you know because you know like we were saying like oh yeah. I, you know he's already taken over he, he's already um he's already won and basically and 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 she and luigi take off in like a hot air balloon or something like they need to find mario and they need to they need to bring him back and so now it's act two Part, part two, Mario finds the Yoshi world, and uh, you know, and you're silent, and and, he, and he's like, he loves it there, and he remembers all these things from his past, and he remembers who he is. He remembers like like the the the, the little boy he used to be. He remembers all the things those Yoshi's taught him were important in life. Yeah, yeah. Um, like like you know, friendship or whatever. M maybe he learns about the reason why he left the island. Maybe there was something bad that happened. And he doesn't want to make the same mistake twice, or he doesn't want to make the same mistake that an older Yoshi did. You know, mm. like that's the lesson. You like you, you you get so caught up in in being the, the the problem solver, you don't realize that you're you're really what you really need to be is just you just need to be there for people. Exactly. And he's like, oh, what have I done? I've left my friends. I need to be back with them. And that's when they show up. Yeah. And, and so he learns his lesson, but we don't have to like waste time by having him go back. Yeah. Yeah. In. And it's like, Mario, you, you need to come back with us. And uh, you know, Bowser's taking over the castle. And 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 you know, he you know, he he comes back with them. And then it's like, and then it's like that tactical scene is like, okay, you know, we need to, you know, all, all the things he's, you know, maybe he brings, a, he's got to bring Yoshi back. He's got to bring a Yoshi back with him. And then they retake the castle, not through brute force, but through like, like teamwork and, and cunning. Yeah, Mario relies on everyone else for a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, this is great. And then, then you of course have the final battle. Uh, and and with like the lava and the and the giant Bowser, uh, you think you can defeat me? It's like yes, because I have friends, you know, like because I'm not alone. <laughs> it's not me you face, Bowser. You face all of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. And then, you know, um, 
but I guess Bowser gets pushed into lava or something, but he obviously doesn't die because he never dies. Oh, yeah, because his kids like save him yeah. in the last second, yeah. so we get to see them fly away, all the Koopa kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's a, <clears throat> that is a, that's a good movie. That is, that is a very good Mario movie that I would like to watch. Uh, I, I'm, I love it so much that it's just, I'm just so sad that it'll never happen. No. Like, I'm sure the Illumination movie is going to be a very cut and dry, simple yeah. Mario tale. But again, I'm holding out hope that they go crazy. It, it like, could be, like, do we know, no, no, we don't know who's writing it. No, right? we know nothing it, outside of the fact that Illumination's the animation company involved. Uh, we have we have turned Super Mario Brothers into a movie before the the Hollywood uh, machine did, and uh, exactly. you know you heard it here first. Uh, hopefully, the real one will be as good or better than ours. I'm kind of excited. Uh, I think what we should do is we should come back to this idea uh, as we learn more about the actual movie. Yeah, yeah, I like that. There's like, there's a lot we can do. If a trailer comes out, it would be a great thing. Like yeah, yeah I think I think they're going with uh, that thing right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Um. So I guess uh, thank you again to Magic. Reason, yeah, yeah, for, good suggestion uh, for for yeah, giving us the suggestion because uh, we we definitely did a lot with it, um, and uh, you know if you out there have a suggestion, uh, maybe we'll give it a shot. Uh, leave it in the comments. Yeah, yeah let us and, know. Uh, yeah, we 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 do like to, you know, uh, we we like to hear from you. We like to know what what you want to see. So thank you for watching screen to screen. And as always, <laughs> I don't know how to end the show. Bye. <laughs> The, the, the trick with this, with Mario's voice that they're going to have him for the movie is that he's got such an iconic voice that does not lend itself to a, a feature film. <laughs> so you're either going to be like, have a Mario that doesn't sound like Mario, or you're going to have a voice that goes up and down the entire movie. Well, that, that, <laughs> that was more of a vampire. That sounds like a Bela Lugosi, yeah. That